Demo, do you get the name? What's your name? You are so welcome here. Come on, guys, come in the middle so everybody can see you. Guys, this is one of those occasions when we all celebrate, and I want to welcome the family and friends who came for this occasion as well, uh, so we can be together and dedicate your daughter to the Lord. You want to sing here as well? Wow! Awesome! <laughs> Just a few words of introduction. In some Christian backgrounds, people baptize their babies. We baptize people who dedicate their lives to Jesus, intentionally and they want to confess that Jesus is the Lord but what we do with babies and children we bring them to the Lord and we dedicate them to the Lord we follow this example of Jesus as he was brought by his parents to the temple we don't have those anymore but we have the life center thank God and he was dedicated by his parents to the Lord so today I'm gonna ask the parents some questions because really Dedication is way more about the parents than the child. But before I do that, I just want to read one quick proverb. It's 22, verse 6. Start children off on the way they should go, and even when they are old, they will not turn from it. That's exactly what is happening. You're bringing your daughter to the Lord, praying for her and dedicating her to Jesus believing that she will make her own decision later on, they will be good. So the thing is, dedicating your child to the Lord is not one self event. It's going to happen daily. And she will challenge your decision. And she will question your beliefs. And you will help her to understand on the way, as she can talk, as she can make her decision. You will be you will be able to give her more and more freedom and lead her into the presence of God. And today, before all this is going to start, I want to ask you some questions. The first question is, do you promise to be an example of Godly life to Samantha? Yes. yes. Very good. Do you promise to lead her to Christ in her early years? Yes. Do you dedicate Samantha to the Lord? Wonderful. Your parents are dedicating you to the Lord and you're definitely happy about it. I can see it on your face. So right before I pray, I speak the word of God over you. Samantha. Psalm 139. For you created my inmost being. You need me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that fully well. This word is about you, Samantha. I dedicate you to the Lord in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you that you grow up healthy, that you grow up loving God, that you grow up in good relationship with your family and friends that God is gonna provide the right people in your way and on your path. I pray that you serve him and that you lead a life according to his will, in the name of Jesus. I also pray for your brother and for your mom and dad, that they will walk in the favor of God, that you as a family unit will enjoy the peace of God and the presence of God. I pray for the parents that they will have the wisdom how to bring you and your ch and, and the other child, their son. I pray, Lord, that you would bring your abundance and blessing over this family. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. A big round of applause. We also have a little gift for you guys. We love you. We're delighted that you that you're here with us. One more. <laughs> yes, absolutely, we can take photos. 